Well, how do there, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves. Now, today, chums, I want to take a look at the actual trailer for the orbital update, and I've slowed the footage right down because I think I've spotted a couple of things inside of this trailer that didn't quite make it into game, and then I'm in game over here, and I'm going to show you what I mean. Now, this was brought to my attention inside of the live stream that we did with Ricey the other day. I put a link up there, but somebody in my live chat called Alex pointed this out to me, and that's what made me do a little bit more in-depth analysis. So, let's get on with it, shall we? So, if I jump on over to my actual uh, PC screen for a second, people. So, here we go. Let's just get rid of the game image. So, this is the actual trailer, and it is slowed down quite a fair bit. But if I hit play on here... I'm going to try and hit pause at the right point as well. So here you go. He interacts with the console that I'm next to inside a game. Chicka boom. Brings up the ship authenticator thingy or whatever, where you design your new starship. It's got hauler there. And it's got explorer there. All good. And fighter. But look at this. There's a shuttle. There's a shuttle there. And it's even got all the little components. Cockpit, hull, reactor core, wings. It looks like we were going to get shuttles, but for whatever reason that they may have held them back. And something else that's a little bit curious. As you go on and you get to see them create their own starship and they get to the end part where you get to pick the colours, the colour palette seems somewhat different to what we experience inside of games. Here you go, look. They put that in. Okay, cool. Reactor core. Lovely jubbly. Oh, that's something I need to purchase inside of my game file, so I'll have to go do that in a second. Choosing the side wings, nice, and the actual thrusters. Okay, cool you. And then it comes up with the color palette. Now I'm going to pause it there. Okay, right. So you see this color palette here. This is on zero, and it's primary, secondary, and accent. Okay. Now I'm just going to jump over into game. I need to go and grab myself uh, a core for this. So I'll just go do that. I'll go okay, grab a core. Well, let's right start here. my fabrication. So here we go. I can make myself a little mini explorer. I just scrapped the one I made the other day just so I could do this because I haven't got enough slit ship slots. I'm hoping that we do get given more ship slots. Here we go. Put in the hull. Let's just go for that one. And the wings. My wings are like a shield of steel. Notice anything different? One, I haven't got three colour palettes. I've got primary and secondary, but I haven't got white and black. And everything's all over the place. It, it doesn't match up at all, you know. So let me let me just jump back to the old trailer, the old trailer image for a second. There you go. They've got three levels of colour, and they've got completely different palette styles to what we've got. How bizarre! How bizarre indeed! People inside the viewerverse. Okay, pokey. Right, well, I've got one ob one other obscurity to show you. Okay, at the, moment, at the top here, you can see I've got, what, 200,000 nanites, which is quite a great deal of nanites, really. Now, if I go on over to these vendors, my rating of all the factions is quite high. At the moment, there is a known bug that if you try to buy an actual module of the people inside of here, it's a purchase module, you can see here I can't actually buy them because it says I have insufficient nanite clusters. But if you go to sell and you just sell any old module that you don't want anymore, like say that one, kaboom, look how many nanites I've now got. I just got myself four billion nanites. I've completely maxed out my nanites. You can see there, my units and nanites are, are the maximum. That's the highest you can freaking carry. There's a massive bug there. When you go back to buy now, you should be able to purchase them, but you, yeah, look, I, I, I can almost get that one, I think. There we go, I can. Yeah, I can purchase that one. And you, know, you can sell them back to them, and you can just get shed loads and shed loads of nanites. You, you can max out your nanites super massively right now, people, because there's a known bug. Another way to get around it is to swap yourself into creative mode. You're not going to get a shed load of nanites, but it's, it's another way of getting out of that bug. There is a fix for this already in the experimental branch, and it's making its way over to PC extremely quickly. So if you want to take advantage of that nanite bug right now, you can. So once you've done that, just make sure you jump in and out of your ship, create a save, and you're going to have enough freaking nanites to set you up for life, people inside the viewerverse. So there you go. Make a little use of that, people inside the viewers. Anyway, that's everything I've got for you. But sound up in the comments. Let us know. Do you think that this actual trailer was why they were actually working on it? And that's why we're seeing these subtle differences. Or do you think they might change out the colour palette soon and swap it out? Or we might get the option to get the black 
and the dark grey colour schemes because I know a lot of people would like these dark black and grey colour schemes you know at the moment we can't select them but you can clearly see they were a thing they might come maybe as quicksilver items or expedition items who knows but it's a little bit of an oddity isn't it I know when I was demonstrating all of this people in the view of us said it'd be nice if we could make our ships black why don't hello games like the color black <laughs> but there we go people I suppose people are always gonna want what's not there you know but anyway let's uh, jump out of the ship it's great to save and I'm gonna end off goodbye goodbye and goodbye again, people inside the view of us.